Yo, Philly254 living life. Back at it. So, I decided to bring up a new plugin. I won't say it's not new, but it's new to me. A plugin for Decky, which if you haven't had Decky installed, or if you haven't installed Decky or whatnot, I'll throw a little video at the top or at the end of the video or whatnot of this video that kind of details how to get Decky installed in the first place. But for those who don't know, Decky has a number of plugins. Once you get it installed, it has a number of different plugins that they can really make things a lot easier or spice up your Steam Deck. For example, I'm recording this video using the Decky screen recorder. All right. So the plugin I'm looking, talking about is Decky Settings. And what does Decky Settings do? Well, I'm about to show you. So all you want to do is click on a little Quick Settings button on the right side of your Steam Deck. Go down to the little Decky Plugin button at the bottom. And then go to the Decky store located at the top. Now you can search for it, you can browse for it. It doesn't really matter which one. You go down, you're going to look for Decky settings. Now these are community generated from Shared Deck and Steam Deck HQ. So just keep that in mind. If no one's submitted a game, it's not going to be on there. Point blank and simple. But if they have submitted it, you'll have some information in there. So once you go there, you can go take a look and see all the games you have installed. Obviously, I have they even show some of my Proton versions I've installed. So all you all you will really do is click on the game, and we'll look on Apex Legends, for example, and you kind of see a quick summary of it. And then if you actually click on it, you can actually see the full installation, like not installation, but the full settings that they recommend. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, again, like I said, these are just community driven. And there have been a couple instances where I've clicked on a game, for example, like Dead by Daylight or something, and it just never loads it. It doesn't show it. It's weird. I don't know. You can see Combat Masters. I mean, you don't really need to know a lot. Combat Masters is played pretty simple on the Steam Deck. No one submitted that, so it's not going to have any information. But like I said, and Guilty Gear shows both setting, both sources, Steam Deck HQ and Shared Deck Reports, right? So that's two way. That's two, I guess, examples of what you can get. The third one, like I was just mentioning, is sometimes you'll click on the game, like for example, like I said, Dead by Daylight, and it doesn't tell me that no one submitted anything. It doesn't show that it's been submitted anything. It just never loads. Don't know why. Not exactly sure. So, and keep in mind, these, like I said, these are community driven. So take it with a grain of salt. I think there's a little rating by each one, unless you know. Now you can also go to settings. And you can see certain settings on here that shows the entire library, which I don't do. I just show what's installed, show notifications for whenever you first enter a game, kind of let you know, hey, these, there's a, a recommended settings. And you can decide whether it only shows it the first time you open the game or every time you open the game during that play session. It's up to you how you want to get it. I kind of left everything on by default, you know, and, and I don't, and I, like I said, I only show the games I've actually installed. And not games that are, like, not every game that's on my Steam Deck. Because not every game I've bought on Steam is actually installed on Steam Deck. So, just FYI. I think this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, personally, before this, I was using ProtonDB. If you don't know about ProtonDB, you need to find out. It's pretty much the same, similar, very similar. Except it's not on the Steam Deck right there where your Steam Deck is. You got to kind of, you know, have your phone or a computer and search it up. Search whatever games you want to look up. Um, this is a good, you can see right here, probably on the video right now, where a game is just not loaded. I think it might have been Dead by Daylight. Just doesn't load. It is what it is. I don't know. But like I was saying, I use ProtonDB up until this point. But this is, I can find this being super useful because now I don't need to pull out my phone and type in the game. I could just right here on my Steam Deck while I'm in my Steam Deck. Go check it out real quick and see what settings might be recommended best for the Steam Deck. So this is definitely something that I would, I, I definitely enjoy. I've used it a little bit. I like it. I'm not digging the part where some games, I get it. I get the games that don't show up, like no, no reports, nothing has been reported on them. But the part where a game just doesn't load anything at all, doesn't let me know that anything, nothing's been reported or if anything has been reported at all. I don't know. You have to kind of work out that kink a little bit. But for the most part, I do enjoy it. I'm digging it. And ProtonDB is still a great backup, just in case the game doesn't show anything at all. Check ProtonDB. It might have something on, on there. For example, Dead by Daylight didn't show up here at all. It never loaded. 
but Proton DB has a whole resource of people trying different things until they finally it finally started working recently. So if you don't know, Dead by Daylight does work on a Steam Deck, by the way. This is real quick, real short, but I want to kind of get this out there for you guys. If you like any, if you like Steam Deck news, walkthroughs, tutorials, lives, gameplay, like and subscribe. Cruise through the playlist. And I'm out.